were delighted that one of our students was recently involved in an international robotics competition in Dubai. Working um, in a team of very able students from Kazakhstan, the team came third and it was acknowledgement of his work and dedication to robotics, um, which I'd like to think a small part the school played in. This competition is held annually, like each year. And last year it was about like electricity and reusable materials. And this year it was about the ocean and ocean pollution. Uh, because this was organized by the United Nations, there were more than 190 countries participating in it and more than 1,000 students in there. The most exciting moment was when we got the bronze medal in there. It was quite unexpected for us, but we, through our hard work and dedication, we still got the medal. The best part about it was that we learned a lot about other countries. We made some new friends in there from other countries, and it was, this was a good experience. I think that we, as students of Halebury Almaty, can participate in such competitions, and even though we're a small school from a small country, we can still achieve some, a lot of some great things in this world. We were delighted that two of our pupils were successful in the recent UNICEF art competition. The competition entitled Children Are Painting the World had entries from over 61 countries. Our two pupils um, won in a highly distinguished category and recently were uh, able to go and collect their prize and their work is now being published in a, a UNICEF book which will be distributed globally. had tremendous Olympiad success this year. Um, as we are filming this, we've got three senior school pupils who are going to actually meet the president in Nursultan, um, the ultimate achievement. We take the Olympiad success very, very seriously. Last year, we had two pupils representing Kazakhstan in a World Olympiad competition in the United Kingdom. And we currently have three pupils in our senior school here on the Kazakhstan Olympiad maths team. So it's very important to us. Uh, IMO, the most prestigious mathematical contest for high school students, uh, was held in the city of Bath, UK. Uh, even though all of us were prepared and experienced, the most challenging part of this event was to deal with unprecedented stress and strain. Fortunately, we handled that with great dignity. Among 112 participating countries, our team took 22nd place with two silver and four bronze medals. As anticipated, without any exaggeration, problems were very hard and challenging. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we found them truly beautiful and interesting. Halo results this year uh, were the best we've had in the school's history. We had 60% A star and A, which is a, a fantastic achievement. This has been um, produced by the hard work and dedication of the staff and the pupils. The academic excellence, which runs throughout Halebury, um, has been transpired into the results which the pupils have achieved. If you compare that with schools within the UK, this would place us within the top 60. So we're very proud. University destinations this year, um, very pleased with those. We had two pupils, one going to Cambridge and one going to Oxford. We also had a large selection going to other Russell Group universities such as UCL, Want to Read Medicine. Within the United States we had pupils going to top universities. Um, our students aim for the best and they achieve the best so we're absolutely delighted as a school. We also have had tremendous success with Astana. We've had one of our pupils win the Economics Essay of the Year from the Royal Economic Society, and the essay was entitled, Is Carbon Tax Enough? We've had students going to top universities in New York, another student going to uh, Yale, NUS in Singapore, and uh, another student going to Italy, 
uh, in Milan. So, amazing achievements from the Hedebristana pupils. And finally, on behalf of the schools both in Almaty and Nurseltan, we would like to celebrate and praise the success of the children. They've achieved immense, great achievements and they are very much an important part of our community. Looking ahead, I think both schools will continue to go from strength to strength and that is down to the careful teaching and the holistic education which we deliver in Halebury.